To determine the molecular geometry for HCN, we'll use the Lewis structure. According to valent shell electron pair repulsion theory, that states that the atoms are going to spread out as far away from each other as they possibly can while still staying connected to that central carbon. So we would imagine if those valent shells are repelling each other, those valent shell electron pairs are repelling each other, we'd have hydrogen on one side and nitrogen on the other. And that would look like this. You can see we have the hydrogen in white, the carbon in the center, and the nitrogen right there. And that is a linear molecular geometry. We could also use the AXN notation to make sure we had the right molecular geometry. A, that would be the central carbon. X, that would be the number of atoms attached to that central carbon. We have two, the hydrogen and the nitrogen. And N, that would be the number of lone pair electrons, or non-bonding electron pairs. All of the electrons around the carbon atom, they're involved in chemical bonds, so we can just forget about N. You could have memorized that AX2 is a linear molecular geometry, or if you had one available, you could look it up in a table. Over here in our table, we have the formula, so we're looking at AX2, and it's the first one, very simple molecule, and it's linear with bond angles of 180 degrees. And the bond angles are just this straight line across here, that's 180 degrees. So that's the molecular geometry for HCN. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.